So I wanted to uh, pull up this IG Live because I know it's a bunch of crazy stuff going on and I just wanted to use my platform if I save one person or that's one person's live or I change one person's live, that's better than zero. So uh, I know a lot of people are hearing about the, the outbreak, the madness that's kind of going on and I wanted to, to, to inform people based upon the stuff that I've heard and some of the research that I've done. Um, so it's past the, 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 the outbreak, kind of the viral outbreak phase is now we reaching like a pandemic. Um, it's hit the NBA, et cetera. I wanted to, to, to be uh, the first to say, I see a lot of young people making memes I see a lot of young people making jokes, you know, and dismissing it, and I get it, you know, Twitter, Instagram, etc. But maybe you might not be affected by it, but somebody else that you probably know will, um, whether it's elderly, whether it's people who are sick already, whether it's people who are affected by other type of diseases, cancer patients, you know, these people might not have the immune system to fight this, this virus off, so, you know, it might not be something that be concerned with you, you know, but um, being aware and being sympathetic and considerate of the people around you that, that this is urgent. You know, the way they stop viruses is by shutting things down. So you look at Italy, what they're doing in Italy right now, they're in complete, total um, shutdown mode where they, everything is being quarantined. People are not allowed to leave the house, etc. And... I'm not saying potentially, I'm not saying that's where we're headed, but potentially that could be the case. So I want just people to, to have the awareness um, of what's going on, that this isn't just a joke. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Like, this is for real. You know, people will be affected by it. You might not see it now, but in the next, potentially in the next, as early as the next two weeks to a month, you might start seeing the effects. You know, we got all these people that might be getting sick, Etc. in our healthcare, in our, and there's only so many hospitals, so we might not be able to, to be able to help and treat everybody. So, um, washing your hands, you know, spreading awareness as much as you can um, is great. You know, also being considerate, you know, limiting your amount of contact with people, um, staying at home if it's possible, you know, because you might be carrying it or know somebody who is and the less people you come in contact with the better so um people still i don't know people are still strolling in i rarely get on live like i've probably been on live since i've had an instagram maybe two or three times in, in general but even me i dismissed it at first i'm thinking man this is um people are over exaggerating overreacting to to this and it's not that big of a deal and I wanted to use my platform to kind of change that narrative. I think that I'm seeing now still, you know, even with Harvard shutting down, MIT shutting down, the Warriors, you see the stuff going on in the NBA, what's going on in Italy, people still making jokes about it, people still making memes about it, and people, people's possibly, you know, the fatality rate has been predicted, like people are going to die from this, like for real. So I want people to, 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 to switch that narrative from something that we joking and laughing about to somebody trying to help, you know, and somebody being considerate, raising awareness, and using their platform to, to try to make a change because uh, right now it's not looking so good in the NBA, et cetera, you know, I miss all the news. So I wanted to jump on live to, 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 to reiterate that, you know, it's not a joke. It's not a game that nobody playing. You know, you might not be affected by it. It might not be about you. But, you know, elderly, people who are already sick, people are prone to getting sick, 
people who have weak immune systems, you know, people who are already infected by other diseases, will be, you know, um, will be affected by, it, you know, so um, having the, the consideration and the, the, uh, the decency to, to, to understand that and, and be aware of that um, is important um, because the way things are headed right now, I'm not sure where it's about to go. So uh, it's not a, 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 this is not a, a, a lie for people to overreact and to take things into their own hands and go completely, you know, AWOL. I just wanted to, to, to let people know that, you know, to be safe, you know, to leave, stay at home if you possibly can. You know, you save one person, you know, that's better than none. Um, to, to continue to, to be serious about it, about what's going on. It's not a joke. You know, people laughing, joking, and, and, and making it all about, you know, this or that or basketball. It's, it's beyond basketball. You know, it's beyond sports. I'm not sure what the verdict is going to reach. I think Adam Silva is probably going to make his uh, statement tomorrow. And whatever he makes, the decision he makes, we obviously going to have to stand behind. I think it's that that important, the way they stop outbreaks. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he completely shut down or uh, shut down the rest of the season, you know what I mean, or to the playoffs, et cetera. I wouldn't be surprised if, the, the, if that were to be the case. So, um, like I said, it's bigger than basketball. It's people's health, it's people's lives, it's at stake. You know, so anything that you could do, um, staying at home, washing your hands, the littlest amount of movement, the littlest amount of effort, the littlest amount of awareness can help. Um, like I said, I don't get on IG live that, that much. Um, it's not really my thing, Instagram, but for to try to raise awareness and try to use my platform to, to, to help people, for somebody to see this, for somebody to understand the importance of it. You know what I mean? I'm not... So I'm not trying to make it a, a overreaction where people go into panic mode. I just think people need to be safe and understand where things are headed and the potential uh, of of this pandemic. Um, it's not a game. It's not a joke. Uh, please, even not. But if you have been joking about it and dismissing it, don't be, don't feel bad about it or don't be discouraged because even our president, you know, not saying it's right, but even him, he's been dismissing it and. and throwing it under the bus or making it not a big deal. So uh, it's not above nobody. That's another conversation. Our president is another conversation for another time. But uh, <laughs> please, people have a decency to be, uh, to, to be aware, to be, you know, mature about what's going on, you know, not to laugh and joke about it. I know it's a lot of kids that follow me and they think that it's, it's fun to cool and joke about shit like this. But in actuality, people are going to die from this. It may be people you know. You might not see it right now, but the effects might be of it in the next, early as the next two weeks, potentially. You know, so I would, I would suggest people to be a, bit, a little bit more considerate and things like that, uh, because this is real. And that's pretty much all I had to say. I didn't really want to get on here for too long. I just wanted to, to raise some awareness. Hopefully, some people hear this and change their approach. You know what I mean? And if you're out there and you're listening, I hope that you um, start to take action. Um, but appreciate y'all for listening. Stop. Obviously, this day has unfolded. I got the sense earlier, I know Tommy told my friend.